A Sacramento High School student is taking top honors in an international art contest, Science Without Borders. Miraloma High student Michelle Yang, she joins us this morning to give us a better picture of her winning piece and how she draws inspiration for her artwork. Welcome to the show, Michelle. Hello, hello, welcome. Well, congratulations on placing in this international art contest. Tell us about Science Without Borders Challenge, the art competition. So the Science Without Borders competition is an international contest where students can express the importance of preserving, protecting, and restoring the oceans and aquatic resources, uh, which contributes to the overarching goals of the uh, Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation. And this challenge is open to primary and secondary students of the ages of 11 to 19 years old. So talk about your winning drawing. It features a mangrove. Tell us what that is and why it's important. Um, so a mangrove is like um, a place where it ha contains a lot of trees and shrubs along the coastlines of subtropical and tropical areas. And it's really important because it's uh, first of all, it protects us from a lot of natural disasters, for example, like hurricanes and tsunamis. And it's also homes to a lot of wildlife. And so my drawing, uh, it shows an ecosystem around a mangrove where animals and plants and humans depend on each other. Life goes on in this enchanted world where animals take in oxygen released from the mangroves, schools of fish swim around the corals, and bigger, fi uh, and bigger fish and birds look for food. Others, like the otter and the raccoon, play and roam around their home like a normal day. Um, but then something is different on this particular day, where there's a hurricane that is approaching um, as three men are chopping down the mangrove trees. Oh, wow. Um, and, yeah, and so they can't see that the mangroves are actually quite important and that the hurricane will actually be blocked out by the uh, trees. And so you can see that there's a woman that's protecting the animals and saying stop, um, but you can't tell if the woman is saying stop to the hurricanes or the men chopping down the tree. And um, I also intentionally had a raccoon facing the viewer as to ask the viewer to like help do something about this issue. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful story. And that is such a beautiful drawing. I can see why it stood out. Now, have you been up and close and personal with these mangroves? I mean, what made you want to enter this competition and, and make that image? I haven't particularly gone to a mangrove before, but I do love studying environmental science. Um, I used to do Science Olympiad and I mainly focused, I loved ecology and a lot of the reason why I love oceans and stuff or any bodies of water is because I went scuba diving and oh. scuba diving, yeah, and I, while I was scuba diving, I also um, cl uh, cleaned up a bit of the ocean floor, taking out any trash and it was quite fun and I loved seeing the life there and I would, be pained to see if anything happened to what lives in the ocean so so how did you find out that you were one of the winners in that competition so i actually at first i was looking through the previous year's winners and i was um and then i saw that they were all really good and the competition had like quite a few announcements the fi semi-finalists finalists and then there were the winners um, each time uh, there was an announcement, I got more and more nervous about the results. But what, when I got an interview with Miss Amy Hemsoth, one of the main coordinators of the competition, I knew something was up. And her, my art teacher, Miss Char, and I were on a Zoom call together. And then I was told that I was one of the winners for the competition. And <laughs> I got really nervous and really excited. So, yeah. Oh, wow. So where did you learn and, and how long ago did you start drawing? Um, I started drawing since I started drawing passionately since I was in fourth grade. I started drawing ever since preschool. Um, and I would always look through the Internet for like um, little drawing tutorials. And then I had begged my parents for um, drawing like how to draw books. And then it wasn't it wasn't until I got a Wacom tablet where I drew, uh, when I 
realized that I wanted to draw like as a career and as a big passion. So um, yeah, and then I started drawing more and more and I gained some popularity on social media. So that motivated me to draw even more. Well, you are definitely a talented young lady. Congratulations again on that award. I'm sure there'll be more of that to come. You're very passionate. Thanks for sharing that with our audience today. You can see all the winners and more of Michelle's drawings by visiting uh, livingoceansfoundation.org.